Uh, hey there, Peter here with BlackRock Business, and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we're going to go over a, a process during the receiving voucher that can help you to make sure that your store is consistent and profitable, and that would be uh, updating pricing according to cost. Uh, you, may, you may have seen a message pop up on your receiving at times. Uh, it's kind of a confusing message. P people might not know what it means, but it's talking about repricing when your cost change changes. And so we're going to go over that today. But before we do, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions or talk about problems, issues, training, request a video for this channel, whatever you want to do. Do it in our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. I will be there as well as other point of sale users to answer your questions. Okay, if you're on YouTube today, hit subscribe down below so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. Let's do this now. Okay, we could go through the whole purchase order, you know, into a receiving voucher, rigmarole, whatever, but I'm just going to jump straight to the chase. Going to go into receiving vouchers. We're going to receive some things. Uh, of course, you're going to have to choose the vendor that you are receiving products from. Uh, I will do Sweet Merch, one of my favorite vendors. Open purchase orders exist for this vendor. Do you want to receive against one or more of these? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm not exactly sure if this purchase order has multiple items on it. Looks like it just has one item. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll receive everything from that. I'm going to add something else as well. Ooh, that's ugly. All right, you got to look out up here at the top because sometimes the columns get all screwy. Uh, so we have an info security shirt. I'm going to add a couple other things just to say, you know, that we're receiving numerous things. Uh, and uh, that, that should be good. We got a, a shirt a necklace and a nightgown and they're all we're pretending they're on PO number three but they're coming in and let's say we're receiving five of these and seven of these and ten of these uh, but according to the invoice I'm looking at or the packing slip or what have you uh, these are actually the price has changed and I ordered them for 13 <clears throat> And these, I the price changed to twelve fifty. You know, in our economy today, prices are always changing, and so you're going to be changing. What I mean, you're going to be ordering more stuff, and it's not always the same. It's not always the same cost. Uh, sometimes it will be for quite a while, uh, but prices usually go up after a while. So we'll say that this has changed to ten twenty. All right, so there you go. We've got our three different items with new costs because our vendor just upped their prices. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit save and it's gonna pop up and say the cost of one or more of these items is different than the current cost in your recorded inventory. So that's saying the order cost on these items is not matching what we just put in. But what's the deal? Because that's how much they cost now. So it's asking us, it's telling us actually, the change in cost will affect our profit margin. Of course, when the prices from your vendors go up, uh, your margin is gonna get smaller if you don't adjust your prices. So it's asking you, would you now like to review and update item prices before saving the voucher? I'm gonna say yes, but a lot of people don't know what to do at this point because they're just like looking at the cost. They're just looking at the voucher, <clears throat> excuse me. And so here is what I'm going to tell you in order to help you do this more effectively. First of all, we want to see the price here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to customize columns and I want to find regular price, which is the normal price that you're going to charge people on a price tag. Oh boy. There it is. I got to move it over. So these were the current prices and we've upped, our cost has gone up. So now we're making less unless we want to change the prices. 
Uh, I'm gonna add one more little thing here that might help you out. If you right click anywhere on an item or on, a, on the headers here, you can go to customize details, which is actually a pretty cool feature because you can see specific details right in this area where it says PO. And something you might wanna add here is, hey, I wanna know exactly which department each one of these things is in. And then I also wanna know what the calculated margin is from my updated cost and price. So I'm gonna add margin and markup. Now, actually, we can see the voucher cost went up on the shirt and our price is still at $12. So we're actually losing money every time we sell one of these. And so what you're going to do, I'm going to bring up my uh, calculator here. Oop, come on. Calculator. So on the shirt, I... I might know that I want to do a markup. Uh, let's say I want to mark it up 10%. So since the cost is 13, I'm going to do times 1.1. I'm going to get $14.30. And I'm just going to make that actually 14.29 because that that's how you price things, right? All right, now I can see that my markup is 10%. And why don't I just go ahead and do that across the board? And so my calculator, we got, I'm gonna say, uh, what is it? Ooh, these are expensive. 1250 times 1.1, which is a markup of 10%. So those are 1375, and then the last one is going to be $10.20 cents times 1.1 I'm just trying to make 10% on everything I'm sure margins are way bigger in clothing so you can go ahead and correct me but <laughs> this is just an example so I'm gonna put this over here to refer to I'm gonna go to the regular price on these it is oh actually I'm gonna keep this is fine with me this is a, still a healthy margin margin uh, I'm not sure what the margin was before maybe it was uh, Marking it up by 200% or 300%. That's probably about what it was. So that one's fine. But you can just look at and cust let's let's say the mar markup was 300% here. So I'm going to actually redo this. I'm going to say, okay, 1250 times 3. And then uh, 10, 20 times 3. So now I've got new prices uh, and so you're just gonna want to know for each department like how much you're marking up normally for that department and then you can adjust accordingly so this one is actually going to be uh, 3749 and this one is going to be 3059 all right now I have updated my pricing because I have up, the cost has gone up and I needed to update my pricing. So I'm gonna save and now it's okay with that because I adjusted it. And that, my friends, is how you update your prices according to the costs that have gone up from your vendors while you're taking a receiving voucher. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And if this video is helpful to you, hit the like button. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. You have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.